Hi, you're with Chandeep at Goodly and uh, in this video, I'm going to speak about the solution of the question that I asked you about the pivot table. So here is the question that I gave you. Here's some sales data. The first column date, region, product ID, units, channel and interval. Uh, and uh, between this table and the products table, the column which is common is the product ID. You can see both the columns are common. And following that, I had three questions. Uh, calculate the monthly commission payout. Note that commission is only paid uh, on sales done via affiliate channel. So if the channel is affiliate, you pay this affiliate some commission. How much commission? We have to find that out. We take the product ID, apply a VLOOKUP and uh, find that product ID in this table. And against that, we have a commission percentage. We pay the commission. But hey, commission is going to be paid on the sales made. So first you have to find out the sales. So you just take the affiliate, whatever affiliate is that. Take the units, multiply it with the price of the product that is going to give you the sales on that. You give him whatever commission percentage. That's how you're going to solve it. And we need to kind of find that how much monthly commission are we paying month on month? And this was the expected output. Uh, so you have dates here, you have the year and you have the month of all the year of 2011 and you have the commission paid out every single month. And this is how I wanted the output. So for achieving this, if you were to do this in normal Excel with the form of the use of formulas and pivot tables, this is the way that you would probably do it. So um, I'll have to write a bunch of VLOOKUPs and I have already done that. So um, in this VLOOKUP, I am just trying to first find out if the channel is affiliate or not. If the channel is affiliate, then apply a VLOOKUP and get me the price, multiply the price with the commission and multiply it with the units and multiply it with 66. 66 is nothing but your exchange rate because everything is in dollars. I want to convert that into rupees. So you multiply all of that only if the channel is affiliate and that's the reason why you get commission uh, wherever the channel is affiliate. And uh, all right, and this is a free product. Uh, this is FS ebook. This is a free product, so there is no commission on that, right? All right, so that's the reason why uh, you have the commissions uh, wherever populated the channel was affiliate, and wherever they're not populated, the it was blank. Now you want to find out the monthly commission paid out. You make a pivot table out of this. This is a pivot table. You make a pivot table out of this. You group the dates into the uh, into years and into months and you drag and drop the commission and it gives you sum of commission. This is exactly the same as this expected output. Not too difficult, but you still had to write a bunch of VLOOKUPs to get to the formula right here. Anyways, let's just take a look at second question and how would you have solved that uh, without the BI tools of Excel using normal Excel uh, and pivot tables, formulas and pivot tables. All right, it says show the maximum selling product name and the sales month wise. So I, I want to find out the maximum selling product name and its sales, right? So here's the expected output. So we have years here, we have the months here. And in January, I want to find out the name of the maximum selling product and how much did it sell, right? So in the name and the product sales, and how would you find out that? So uh, the first thing that I have to do is I have to make a pivot table in that pivot table, I will have the year, I will have the month, and I will have all the products sold in the month. And from that, I will then find out the maximum selling product. Just take a look. So I have made a pivot table right here, made a pivot table right here. We have the years, we have the date and we have all the products in that month. Uh, and we have the sum of sales. Now, obviously you don't have the sum in your, uh, in your data. So what I did was I wrote another VLOOKUP and this VLOOKUP is then searching for this product ID. Uh, and finding out the price, multiplying the price with the units, and that's how you get the sales. Plus, since we do, you have the product ID, but you don't have the product name, and we would want to have a product name. So another VLOOKUP to find the product name. All right. once we get these two columns, then I kind of update my pivot table, and I uh, have the years, I have the date, I have the product name, that obviously starts appearing in my pivot table field list, and then I drag the sum of sales right here. Now. I want to find out that how much um, sales was done by the maximum selling product. And uh, so I, I need to kind of do something like a max if, right? And there is no max if in, until Excel 2013, but Excel 2016 gives you a max if. So I'm saying if the year is 2011 
and if the month is january then give me a maximum of of that month how much is the sale so i apply a max if now max ifs is only available in excel 2016 had you been working with uh, a prior version of excel uh, you would have used uh, some product or some array formula to kind of achieve this right i'm not even trying that i have max ifs i'm just going to use max if now once i get the the maximum selling product sales i will then use a simple index match to find out that whose sales was this and give me the name of the product so that's more or less kind of matching matching uh, the expected output, which is the year, the month, the maximum selling product and the maximum sales, right? All right, now let's just take a look at the third question, which is a little more tricky. Uh, it says that how many uh, high selling days were there in each month? High selling days, the definition of that is high selling days is equal to the total sales of the day uh, greater than 100. Now take a look at your data. Um, Let's just pick up any day. Let's just pick up 3rd of January. Now you can see 3rd of January is appearing twice. That means two transactions happen on the 3rd of January. What I need to do is I need to take a total of the, the sales that happen on 3rd of January, compare that with $100. That was it more than $100 or not. If it was more than $100, I need to count that as one, right? I need to count the number of days month wise that had sales more than $100, right? So how are you gonna do that? As of now, my data is not daily it's transaction level data. So um, maybe 6th of Jan can appear three times. Maybe uh, 10th of Jan can just appear one time. There was just one transaction in this day. 12th of Jan is appearing twice. They had two transactions in a day. How are you, how am I going to total day, day wise? So I need to make a pivot table that first gives me day by day total sales, right? And then maybe I'll just do some formula alchemy to you know, write the formula. Let's just quickly make a pivot table. The, I purposefully did not uh, solve this question um, prior to making the video because there's some uh, intricacies with this question which I wanted to bring out um, right now. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just gonna create a pivot table, Alt and V, and um, existing worksheet, uh, sheet one. Let's just paste this pivot table right here, say okay. All right, now once I have the pivot table, and I'm just going to drag the dates. Let me just, uh, all right. I'm just going to drag the dates in the rows. And obviously I will have them grouped uh, um, by year because I have 2016. But hey, I don't really want to group them by year. I want to take off the date. I want to take off this. And maybe I just want to ungroup this by the days, right? So you have 2 January, 2nd January once. I have 3rd January once. For every date, it just appears once. And then I will pick up and drag the sales right here. Although now you can see that I am getting um, daily sales, but what has happened is that because the grouping level changed here, all my prior pivot tables have changed. You can see that everything has changed here. Everything has become a daily pivot table. Well, this was not a daily pivot table earlier, right? So this is a common problem with a regular pivot table. Um, I don't even really want to go in depth of explaining why this happens. This happens because of the cache of a pivot table. Don't want to really go there, but uh, although you can solve this problem by invoking the uh, pivot table through a conventional pivot table wizard, and then you kind of make another pivot table, with, you know, and you can solve that problem. But I'm not even trying to tell you that how can you solve this using conventional Excel, because it is too much work, too much VLOOKUPs, too much formulas, too much mess around, too much workings that you have to do to solve it with con conventional Excel. What I'm going to teach you is that how can you solve this problem, these three questions using the modern Excel or the BI business intelligence tools of Excel using Power Pivot.